Hey buddy, Quad Nines here with a pretty cool opening. I got a, a pre-release pack that is sealed. Uh, I didn't actually get to go to the pre-release, so it's kind of cool for me. I uh, don't know if I actually do a sealed deck out of this. I really just uh, want to roll the dice on a promo. And these packs are notoriously um, loaded, I guess you could say. They're, they're kind of a few more mythics and fools bobbing around in, with the beginning of the set. Uh, I don't know if this has ever been like confirmed or anything, but... Never really heard anybody deny it either because there's just a ton of mythics and sweet cards opened on pre weekend. Just is. So, anyway, got the uh, cool Jace Unraveler Secrets art. He's got Tamiya's Journal in there, which uh, this is also supposed to be like Tamiya's Journal with the, the clasp. I think that's the Moon Folk or something. So, yeah, just gonna, oh, got a black promo. Hey, it's a big vampire that doesn't say play. Markov Dread Knight. But it's got a stamp on it. So that makes it better than most other Markov Dread Knights. Boo. But, you know, still got some cool packs here to uh, to crack. What is, oh, we got our diet blue and white. Looks pretty good. Uh, here's the divider. I guess you could use this for your deck box, obviously. That could be your divider for the sideboard. Uh, there was supposed to be something to this, the lanterns. I don't didn't really get into that part of it. What is that in there? It's like a toolkit? Yeah. Sure. Anyway, so we got this in a stride. Uh, kind of tells about how to build a cell deck. Tips for choosing, choosing creatures and other spells. It says you know, kind of the number of stuff you, you could be doing. Um... So, yeah, talks about double face cards. And here's my six packs. So, let's get on with this part. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the packs. going to show the rares and the uncommons. And then I might actually build the sealed pool. And, uh, you know, pause it, build the sealed pool, and then come back. Anyway. So, you just going to see what's going on here. Pour over the pages. Magnifying glass. Sinister Concoction, and a Sigarda Heron's Grace. The flip card is Pious Evangel, and a Clue Token. So, one Mythic already. Not the, not the Angel you really, really want to open here, but, uh, you know. I think the card's okay. It's way different from the last Sigarda because she get, she herself was hexproof and made you not have to sack anything. Um, and then she was a 5-5. Five five. But this one, you know, if you untap with any kind of creatures in your graveyard, you're going to have a big army, like, very soon. So, I don't know. Like I said, it's not as good, but I think it's, it's definitely cool. Uh, Geist Blast, Wildfield Scarecrow, Crawling Sensation, and Angel of Deliverance. Once again, not the angel you really want to open. Harvest Hand, that's the angel you want to open right there. Archangel Avison. Well, my deck would be... It's going to be a bunch of five, six, seven drops. And, you know, I'm going to die on turn five a lot, I'm sure. But I'm still playing those cards, like, all day. That, and, you know, I actually like building green-white X. Probably green, uh, green-white with a black splash, because black's got a lot of cool stuff in the set. Like that. Fiery Temper's good, too. Uh, broken Concentration... Indulgent Aristocrat. I still see Kenji. I want to see this picture because of the uh, Community Super League. Anyway. Stitchwing Scab. So he's playing Modern Dredge in a couple of lists I've seen. And a Port Town. So I got that can splash blue. Oh, there's another reason to play green. Duskwatch Recruiter. Probably the best uncommon in the set. At least to me. Uh, definitely the best creature uncommon. Uh, card is just gas. So... Sees tons of standard play. Sees some modern play. It's a good card. So yeah, we'll open up Avacyn, the best card in set. Oh, that's going in a deck for sure. Wouldn't mind a uh, Nahiri. Yeah, I'll splash Nahiri. Sure. Manic Scribe. Going in my uh, blue-black uh, modern mill deck. I usually splash white for Path and um, some other stuff in the sideboard. Also, Path works because if you have Archive Traps, they search the library and you can get them with Archive Trap. So, yeah. Barbara's Patrol, probably also going in the deck. Near Heath Chaplin, same. And an Altered Ego. Not the colors I am, but the card is very good and limited. Daring Sleuth. Spirit 
clue token. Sweet. Two more quick packs and then it's pause time. Let's see what we can do. Trail of Evidence. Really hard to play. Toppelgeist. Good card. Malevolent Whispers and hey, Gold Knight Cascade. I think I got like every angel in the set. Every mythic angel anyway. There's only like three I believe. So yeah. Probably not playing that one but anyway. Uh, Thraven Gargoyle. Checklist card. Clue token. Pretty usual. So yeah, and here you're soaring, because you know, why not be greedy with the four mythic uh, sealed pool? We've got Olivia's Blood Sworn. Haven't seen a lot of vampires. Uh, Woodland Stream. Indulgent Aristocrat. And Always Watching. Yeah, this card's not fair at all. It's just busted. Vigilance and plus one plus one is crazy good. Hinterland Logger. I've got another rare thing in the ice, which had a lot more value on actual pre-release weekend, but anyway. Okay, uh, real quick, show the, the rares and the, the Dusk Watch Recruiter. Yeah, so a bunch of angels, a land, thing of the ice, great um, anthem effect, Dusk Watch Recruiter, all for Digo. Okay, be right back. Okay, well this was uh, not really hard. I could have splashed black for a little bit of removal, but I found I had a couple you know, green and white removal spells to go with some combat tricks, which also tend to work as removal. But uh, yeah, my curve's pretty pretty lean, even for a sealed deck. Uh, my top end's not real high, but the what I do have is pretty solid, like bomb heavy. So uh, Toppelgeist into Quilled Wolf, Hinterland, Hinterland Logger, and Dustwatch Recruiter. Uh, three drops are Militant Inquisitor, which it works on equipment, which I have one here. And then this creature, Harvest Hand, can turn into equipment. So a little synergy there. And Pious Evangel, another flip card that's kind of a wing condition. Um, just be able to, you know, anytime something dies, drain them. So uh, Byway Carrier is good for investigating. A 3-2 is a pretty good body. Uh, inspiring Captain for Pump. Near Hit Chaplain is just solid card. So good. Uh, Briar Bridge Patrol. Especially put like the equipment on it. Gets kind of out of hand. Uh, they have to just they have to trade with it as soon as they can. Uh, Intrepid Provisioner. Pump Humans, which I have a lot of. Uh, Watching the Web because it blocks really well. And Heaven Reach is really important in this format because a lot of the bombs have flying, like some of mine. Emissary of the Sleepless, just one other flyer. Sigarda and Archangel Avison, two really bomb angels, so seems good. And her given my Humans Hexproof, it definitely matters in this deck because I've got quite a few. Uh, the actual spell spells, like I said, Strength in Arms and Confront the Unknown or Combat Tricks that can be kind of like removal. Um, True Faith Censure or Censor. Uh, the best cheap uh, equipment in the, in the set. Uh, the flip one's a little better sometimes, but this one giving your stuff vigilance uh, is also really big over here, always watching. So there's a good chance my guys are going to have vigilance a lot of the time. Anyway, uh, Rabid Bites, good removal in green. It is sorcery, but that usually doesn't matter. You usually do it when you get an opening, like they're tapped out. So it's usually just two mana kill that thing. Uh, Angelic Purge, really good. Just really solid removal, be able to get rid of three different the only real three card types you're going to get rid of in this format unless they have a planeswalker but this way you can still get rid of their blocker and kill the planeswalker yourself uh crawling sensation i put it in here i really like the card uh just being able to get tokens goes really well with like inspiring captain and uh, i know that they don't get the bonus from the always watching but still just a bunch of one ones can eventually just they can let you chump while your flyers get in or like I said, you can just make for a big board and then pump them all with Inspiring Captain. Uh, always watching pump all my non-token creatures. Oh, seems like a pretty solid deck. Uh, what's this, 15 creatures and 7 spells? Is that right? That can't be right. That's 16 creatures. Math is bad. 16 creatures, 7 spells for 23. Um, the land base would probably be just a, I don't know, 8 and 8. Looks pretty even. 
Uh, I mean, I could probably one, two, three, four, five. There's actually 12 white, but the two double white are, I mean, this is a three drop, it's five drop. Uh, I might go, I might go nine, uh, not eight, nine, eight planes. So yeah. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if this was a sealed pool, I get to play a lot of rares. It'd be a pretty fun, fun sealed pool. I'd like to open this on Magic Online or would like to have gone, but opened up a good bit of money here with Archangel Avison, always watching the seas play as well. But uh, anyway, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.